Hello, welcome to another exhilarating video on my channel. After a recent visit to Yandel's woodworking, I picked up these strips of beech. They're 15 mil wide by 20 mil thick. And I'm gonna use these pieces of Moranti which measure 14 mil high to make some coasters. Now I need to rip these strips of Moranti down into two mil strips. So I set the height on the table saw blade and move the fence in and then set about cutting the strips. Then with all the pieces cut up, including my template piece, I could set about organizing the pieces of wood in order of my preference. I think the Moranti should stand out quite nice against the beach. So next it was to flip everything over ready for gluing up. So once I had spread the glue over everything, it was a simple matter of spreading the glue on the opposite faces and placing it all together. Then once I placed everything together, it was time to clamp it up and bugger off for a cup of tea. Once it was dry, I came back to the mitre saw and I cut off the end to square it up. And then I set a stop block in place and I could slide the piece over to it and simply cut off the width that I required. As you'll see in a minute, I think my blade on the mitre saw could do a change in because it seems a little bit blunt as I was getting rather a lot of uh, tear out, which I hadn't anticipated. So then it was arrange them all again and insert the extra strips of Moranti and then slide them into the order I wanted. And then back to more gluing. And more clamping. But then after the glue dried, I was left with something that looked like this. So the next day I went back out with my quick square and I just marked up where I want to trim the excess off of the edges. And then I marked the, the top and bottom as well for a flush cut. So over to the table saw, I just trimmed off along the marks that I made. squaring everything up. Now because the Moranti was a millimetre shorter than the beach, I'm going to have to run the face of it through the table saw and just trim off that extra mill that the uh, beach sticks out. So I just did it here quite simply, raising the blade, did it in uh, four passes in total. And then I moved the blade across so I could trim exactly down the middle of this piece. And I just kept rotating the piece 90 degrees and cutting along the middle. And then just raised the blade to make a higher cut into the wood and just work my way along like this. And it was quite trouble free, quite safe. And then the wood just split into two. So this gave me a good opportunity to use my two new cordless random orbital sanders. I used the Stanley Fat Max sander first with 80 grit paper on. And I really like this sander, it, uh, it's only got a 2 amp hour battery on but it did really well. 
and then I moved on to the more finer sanding with the AEG sander uh, with 180 and 240 grit papers because it has a better extraction system on it than the Stanley and I'll get hardly any dust using this one. I then rounded the corners over on the sander just to give it that extra bit of detail and then I was going to use my block plane to chamfer the corners but I was concerned I might get some chip out so instead I just sanded them over and rounded them over so it looked like this and then after removing all the sand and dust I set about adding a finish I used this butcher's block oil which is food safe just in case my nan places her biscuits on her but it didn't quite give it the oomph I was hoping it would give it so I let it all soak in and then I moved on to giving them three coats of lacquer denibbing in between and that gave the finish I was looking for I was quite happy with how they turned out in the end and against the black glass table I got I think they stand out quite well so there you go real easy make for anyone to do Hope you enjoyed the video, please comment, like, share and by all means please subscribe and I'll see you again next week.